So you're thinking about moving to Lincolnton, North Carolina. In this video, we're going to show you around Lincolnton. We're gonna take you on a map tour of some of the different areas in Lincolnton to look at where you might call home. If this is your first time seeing me and you want to know everything there is about living and moving to Charlotte, North Carolina, then subscribe below and tap that bell icon for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the housing market in Charlotte. My name is Noah Jenkins with Noah Jenkins Group and Keller Williams Realty. We get calls every day from people just like you, so whether you're moving in nine days or nine months, feel free to reach out as all of our contact information is in the description below. We would be happy to help you make a smooth move to the Charlotte area. Now let's take a closer look at Lincolnton, North Carolina. All right, so if we look at the map here, Lincolnton's gonna be everything that's sort of highlighted in this red outline. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the proximity to other cities and other places. So Lincolnton is very centralized to a bunch of different cities surrounding, you know, the Charlotte metro area. So you can look here, if you take 321 down, you can get to Gastonia super easily, get to Gastonia depending on where you're located in 25, 30 minutes. If you take 85, you can get, you know, down here, go to Kings Mountain, Shelby, Grover area. You can even go down to Gaffney, Spartanburg. Um, if we go the other way, let's go down 27, we can get to Mount Holly, Belmont super easily. You can get to Center City, Charlotte very quickly. You can get to the Denver area through 150 or 73. You can get to Huntersville by 73. Um, you can cross the lake over to Mooresville, go down to Cornelius. Um, if we go back, we can go up 27, uh, get to the Morganton area fairly quickly. Um, you can go up 321, get to Hickory, Granite Falls, Lenore, Boone, Bull and Rock area. Like I said, Lincolnton is super central to a bunch of the different cities that you can go to really, really quickly. And that's why people are moving to the Lincolnton area every single day. The population in Lincolnton is 11,818 people and it's continuing to grow every single day. Another reason people are moving to the Lincolnton area is the lower than the national average to purchase a house here. The average price to purchase a home in the Lincolnton area is just above $340,000. So before we jump into the map tour and really look in Lincolnton and see where everything is sort of located, if you want to know more about living in Lincolnton or moving to Lincolnton, check out the playlist that I have about moving and living in Lincolnton. I was born and raised here, so I know everything there is to know about moving to Lincolnton, so go check that out. All right, as we scroll in here, we're gonna move down to the sort of downtown area of Lincolnton. So we're gonna look at um, the Court Square here. So it's a one way you go around the Court Square. Tons of restaurants and great areas. This is considered the downtown area. Um, we are an incorporated city, so if you're inside city limits, you're going to have city taxes. Um, so let's scroll down a little bit more. Um, you can see there's a lot of these side roads, and there's going to be businesses on these side roads too, but a lot of these extra roads that you see are going to be housing. And Lincolnton is a golf cart city, so you can get a golf cart, ride your golf cart around town, just be sure that you're street legal. Um, so if we come down Main Street or 27 right here, you're gonna get to more of the fast food restaurants. We have two hotels in town if you wanna come in, check it out. Also check out Airbnb if you're checking out the Lincolnton area. There's a, uh, a bunch of great, unique places to stay on Airbnb. Come down 27 more, you're gonna get to the intersection of 27 and 321. Like I said, you go up 321 to get to sort of the Hickory area. You can go down 321 to get to Gastonia and into the South Carolina area. So we scroll in a little bit more. Actually, let's go up here a little bit. Walmart is going to be um, sort of in this area 
right here I'm not sure why it's not showing up but it's sort of in this area and then you have Lowe's, PetSmart, a few different areas you come down here you have Food Lion and there's a strip mall with a great Mexican restaurant El Rey um, if you want my recommendation for restaurants to check out be sure to click the card above talk about all the restaurants in Lincoln and what all it has to offer so we come down 27 even more you have Ingles you have some more fast food restaurants to check out check barbecue king out if you're in the area I don't think I talked about that in the food video but they've been open for many 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 years they have great barbecue, great burgers, and just all around great people. So then we'll sort of get to the intersection of 150 and 27 takes you down to the Mount Holly Belmont area. And then 73 will take you to Denver and Cornelius and the Huntersville area. So other than that, there's really not a ton more to do in the Lincolnton area. Um, like I said, in the downtown place or part of town you're gonna have restaurants and shops um, even bars that you can go check out something new that Lincolnton just um, started was the social district so there's a certain area within the downtown area where you have to have a special cup you can walk around check out the shops be sure to check out the stickers on the front door of all the shops downtown it'll tell you if they sell alcohol if you can take your alcohol in or if alcohol is not allowed inside so check out the stickers there so like i said i've lived in lincoln was born and raised in lincoln love the area it's very centralized to all of the other areas surrounding the charlotte metro super quick super easy to get to all the places there's not a ton of traffic in lincoln except for sort of during the rush hour so you're going to see if you're coming through lincoln or on main street in 27 there's going to be stop lights and those can sometimes stop you it's not really going to deter your route or cause you any extra time to get to where you're going. So if you're considering selling or making a move to Charlotte or Lincoln or any of the surrounding cities, I would love to talk to you. Text or call us today to buy or sell strategically and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Bye for now.